There are six prerequisites in Live Compare that must be satisfied before you run the Smart Impact Analysis app. In this session, I'll take you through each one. First, we'll collect performance history data from SAP production. Performance history data includes used transactions, programs, web applications, and APIs. PhD is collected each month, and in general, our customers collect 12 to 36 months. Daily usage audit collected from SAP QA is similar to PhD, but tracks usage per day. Customers generally store one to three months. Object link cache helps connect changing objects to used objects and should be collected in SAP development and sometimes a sandbox. Downloading the IMG hierarchy from SAP QA helps support configuration change analyses. IDOC usage is based on some pretty large table reads, so it's best to cache used IDOC data from SAP production, which will make smart impact analysis run much faster. Finally, we'll cache all available test asset data related to used SAP objects. These last two prerequisites are optional, and Smart Impact Analysis can run without them. Log on to Live Compare, Expand Administration, Expand RFC Destinations, and choose Production. Select the PhD tab and click Update Data. Expand Administration, RFC Destinations, now select QA. Select the DUA tab and Update Data. Expand Data, Templates, and Impact Analysis. Right-click on Create Object Link Cache and copy to a workspace. You can copy it to an existing one or create a new workspace. Collapse data, expand workspaces, expand your workspace, and select your workflow. Choose a development system or a sandbox. You may want to run it in both. This will take a few hours. You can log off of Live Compare, it'll still run. Now expand Administration, RFC Destinations, choose QA, and download the IMG. Cache IDOC data. Expand data, templates. Now expand the tools folder. Right-click on Cache IDOC Impact Data. Copy to a workspace. You can create a new one or select an existing one. Collapse data and expand workspaces. Expand your workspace. Expand workflows and choose your workflow. And here is where you want to select uh, production or a recent copy of production. And you can schedule this workflow to update weekly or monthly. Last one, we're going to cache test assets, expand data, expand templates, then impact analysis. Right-click on the Create Test Repository Cache Workflow and copy it to a workspace. Collapse data, expand workspaces, expand your workspace and then your workflows. Choose your workflow. First, we're going to choose Production to find all of our used SAP objects. And next, we're going to choose the test repository. You can edit the search paths 
for specific folders within your project. And run the workflow. <laughs>